time for the Family Feud. Introducing the Taylor Family. Nakia, Kathleen, Kina, Anna, and Zandor. Playing against the returning champions, the McMezian Family. See these two families battle it out for twenty thousand dollars in cash. Cause it's time to play the Family Feud. Now here's the star of our show, Richard. Carr! Welcome. Good to see you. Guys are back. Yes, you are. Welcome to the Family Feud. Our returning champs, the Beckmesian family. And they are playing against the Taylor family. Are you ready? Okay, Lily. Nakia. Okay, good luck. We surveyed 100 people, top five answers on the board. Give me the most popular answer. Name something wives do to punish their husbands. Lily. You're sleeping on the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to say bed. <laughs> But I went to the sofa. You're sleeping on the sofa. Three answers better than that. I would say they give them no love. Love making. They're giving them no, no love. love. No love. That's right. No love for you. Show me no love. Are you going to play or pass? We're going to play. Okay. We're gonna play. Are they going to play? <laughs> All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Introduce me to your family. This is my beautiful wife, Kathleen. This is my gorgeous sister, Kina, my lovely cousin, Anna, uh -huh. and my handsome and single brother, Xander. <laughs> <laughs> In case you're all wondering. <laughs> so, Nakia, right? Right. What do you do? Um, I'm a fine art instructor. I teach at the world's far, uh, largest fine art program in the world, Mission Renaissance. And I love it. I teach fine art. You teach fine art? I teach, I teach the basics of fine arts. That's great. Yeah. And Kathleen. Hi, how are you? You guys have been married how long? Um, actually, we've been married since February. Yeah. You what? February of this year. Just, just? Just, just got married. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, then this will have never come up yet, but name something wives do to punish their husbands. How about, um... Holding the checkbook. <laughs> That's right. I'm mad at you. I'm holding this checkbook. Show me the checkbook. <laughs> Hi, Gina. How are you? Great. What do you do? I am a full-time preschool teacher and a part-time student at West Los Angeles. Wow. So you get to teach and be a student at the same yes, time? at the same time. Wow, preschool. <laughs> preschool. Oh, God, yeah. naps. That's the best time, right? Yes. If you can get them down. <laughs> well, name something wives do to punish their husbands. They don't cook them dinner. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. That's right. They don't cook them dinner. <laughs> Anna, Hi. how are you? I'm good. So what do you think? What's something uh, wives um, might do to punish their husbands? How about not speak to them? Yeah. Yeah. Giving them the silent treatment. Don't speak. <laughs> Sandor. How you doing? You're the single one. Very much. Are you sure you want to uh, consider that? These are all the things you could look forward to. <laughs> That's okay. Name something wives do to punish their husbands. I would say don't set the alarm clock. <laughs> <laughs> I am so mad at you. I'm going to make you sleep in. They don't set the alarm clock. <laughs> okay. One try. Nakia, what do you think? I would say they don't... They don't... Three seconds. They don't... Oh. That was... That was your, your third strike. You guys got a chance to steal. Lily. We're gonna go with kick him out of the house. Just get him out of the house. Yeah. Boy, you guys are tough. Okay, if it's up there, you've stolen first blood from the Taylors. If not, they get it. Kick him out of the house. <laughs> what? What else?
else could they possibly do to us? Number five. Cheat on them. Well, that's something they can do. That's right. Mary, Kathleen. Come on, Mary. Hi. Okay, good luck. Now, for this question only, we surveyed 100 single people. Top seven answers on the board. Give me the most popular answer. Name a food you probably should avoid on a first date. Pasta. Pasta. That's slippery pasta. Show me pasta. Spaghetti. How about better. chocolate sundae? A chocolate sundae. I'm saving that for the second date. No chocolate sundaes for you. Chocolate sundae. <laughs> Are you going to play fast? We're going to play. Okay, play. they're going to play. Lily, congratulations. Thank you. $21,910. Your fourth day. I know. You just don't want to leave. Well, introduce me to your wonderful family once okay. again. This is my cousin Mary, my sister Ani, my cousin Isabel, and our sister in law, Colleen. All right. Now, Lily, did we ever find out what you do? Um, I can tell you. Tell me what you okay. do. Okay, I'm a Paula Bank of America. I'm a full-time student. I'll be transferring to USC next semester, mm -hmm. get a bachelor's in philosophy, then go off to USC law, hopefully. And on the weekend, what are you going to do on the weekend? <laughs> That's a lot to do. <laughs> Ani, yes. what do you think? We asked 100 single people, name a food that you probably should avoid on the first date. Burgers. Avoid those burgers? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Show me burgers. <laughs> One strike. Now, this is single people, and it's a first date. Food you should probably avoid. I'm going to say gazzy vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Gassy vegetables. Which ones are those? I don't know. <laughs> those gassy vegetable group. Okay. Can you be more specific? Okay. Uh, broccoli. Broccoli. Yes. I am K. Show me broccoli. Oh. Two strikes, guys, get ready. Talim. Hi. Something you should avoid on a first date. Ribs. Yes. Oh. Ribs. Yeah. Good answer. Because they might want to lick your fingers. Right. Okay, well, if it's up there, you guys are still alive. If not, the Taylor family gets a chance to steal. Show me ribs. Yeah. It's up there. You got the number one, the number two answer. Yes. There's plenty up there for you. I'm going to go with onions. Yes. Onions! Yes. Show me onions! Yes. There you go, Mary. All right, I'm going to say lobster. Lobster? You should avoid lobster on a first date. Because <laughs> you really look funny in that bib. You know, you don't want them looking at you in that bib. Lobster! Okay, you guys get a chance to steal. We're going to say... Garlic. Garlic. Okay. Unless, of course, your date is a vampire. Right. Then, you know, you should have lots of that. Well, if it's up there, you guys have stolen the points. If not, the McNeesians finally get on the board. Show me garlic. <laughs> All right. What's number four? Chinese, Chinese food. Cause you're hungry. <laughs> number five. <laughs> like a gassy vegetable. And number six. Fish. Fish. The score at the end of round one. The Taylor family 162. The Becknesians have yet to score. But we'll be back with round two right after this. Don't go and eat some gassy vegetables.